Welcome to day five of me pretending like I know what I'm doing, but secretly I have no idea. What I do know is that it's October, it's spoopy season, and to make it extra spoopy, we're gonna put some spoopy decorations. Is that getting, is that getting cringe? You guys like it when I say spoopy out loud? Uh, I think we need to put some of these down. So uh, they're seasonal decorations from Omatana. And if I remember correctly, let's, see, let's go ahead and toggle the free mode here. Uh, we can put a couple of these down and they'll turn into uh, pumpkins. What they're, what they're not doing is turning into pumpkins right now. Um, these, these do not appear to be as spoopy uh, as, I, as I thought they would be. Actually, you know what would be terrifying? Um, but clutch, just like right here. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. There we go. That's that's just perfect. <laughs> I'm going to go in here to landscaping real quick. I'm going to see if I can paint some grass back into this because I really, really messed this up. Oof. Ah, yes. The perfect scenario. Uh, plants that forgot to change. Uh, oh, wait. Hang on. I've got, I got seasonal cycles turned on, don't I? Well, I don't think I do. I think I just wasted a bunch of money on that. This, though? <laughs> That's no waste of money. You can pick it up? Are you serious? I'm gonna... I'm gonna put him right up here. To get, don't pay attention to where I just grabbed him. Oh, what is he grabbing? Uh, let's, let's put this, like, right here. Just enough to where it's not creepy, but creepy enough to where it's just not enough. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. So since I've decided that I need to be tortured even more today than, uh, well, previously, um, we've got a field that looks like it's about ready to start growing. We are going to go fertilize the field again. Yep. I didn't learn my lesson the first two or three times. So we're going to do it again. <laughs> this time, we're going to do it on a field that I have handpicked. Field one. It's a square. I, I'm not going to be able to mess this up. And it probably will, but I don't know, we'll find out. I'm already holding up traffic. This is, we're off to a great start. So I decided to hide a ghost at the bottom of this hill. Check this out. I'm gonna get out of the way. Look at this. The car's going through. He's going like, uh, is that a ghost? And the front of the car is all scared. And he's like, oh, no, not a ghost. We're good. <laughs> Nobody will ever know. <laughs> Got somebody else. <laughs> so this should be fairly easy. We're just going to hire a worker on here and let the worker kind of do his thing. The biggest thing is going to be hitting the headland around the edges. So through here. Ooh, what do we have here? Hold on. It's floating, but it's still mine. <laughs> Got him. All right, let's keep going. All right, worker man's going to go do his thing. Oh, oh, don't look at that. That wasn't my fault. Uh, there's a thing up here. I want to show you guys this because this is really cool. It's another shape, I think. I don't, I'm not actually sure what that is. What is, what is that? It's a water, whatever. Got a grand. Let's go. I spy with my little eye. Something begins with probably three meter. Yeah, it's a go. So it says it's a plow. Okay. Guess who found a horse? Got him. Hundred grand. Well, uh, divided by 100. Yeah. Look at this. Would you look at this? It's a tractor and people just walking by it like it ain't even that cool. Look, I bet she won't even pick it up. Watch, she's just going by like she's ignoring the tractor. I got you, my dude. I <laughs> got one. You know, if I was me, I would hide one like in this area because no one would ever come through this area in their right mind. But I'm also not seeing it. Oh, I see one. I was about to say, uh, I know why nobody put one back here, because, well, it's difficult to find. But I got it. This is like a real world way of playing Pokemon Go. I gotta find them all. I need an app. Oh, collectibles, where are you? Guess what I found? He said plow. Got one. All right, I'm gonna stop this, because if I don't continue to not stop doing this, uh, I'm gonna continue to do this, and it's gonna be a problem. So I'm just gonna stop doing this right now. Uh, worker seems to be doing just fine. Uh, this is a massive field, a little bit bigger than, than I thought that it was, but, but I guess there's really, I mean, he's not doing bad. He's made five passes already. That's pretty good. The good thing is 
This gives us $41,000. So that's going to put us up to 460 grand ish. Also, doesn't this guy kind of look like Tiger King, but like before he started having all of his hair go white and changing his colors and stuff? Kind of looks like Tiger King a little bit. Speaking of Tiger King, do we have any, uh, no case tractors? We do have some other tractors, but the problem is it's not really an upgrade. I mean, the Fiat's a downgrade from quite literally anything. We do have the Fit 700 on here which is nice, and we could probably change the main color red. We can. Um, I mean, we could kind of fake this into being a case tractor. <laughs> I'm just not sure that's quite the direction that I'm wanting to go with this series, but this would be a great buy. I mean, it's 58% off as well. That's pretty good. So now we got the money for it, and, and I'm kind of back and forth about, do we, do we get it? Like now? So here's what I want. I want this tractor with some big old duels, but I think for now, starting off at standard, probably be okay. No monitors, three point hitch on the front, biggest engine that we could possibly go with, red, naturally. We can go with black wheels here as well, but I think uh, just gray, normal ones might be the way to go. Although the black doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad at all, but I do like the gray. So 342 grand. This still leaves us, leaves us with well, after this thing, I think we're gonna have a whole lot more power. So, do we go with this? I know that after buying this, we probably won't use anything else. So, that's kind of important to, to know right off the bat because, well, we're gonna use this and probably only this for, well, forever. <laughs> I do love this setup though. God, this thing looks good. So I guess let's do it. Here you go. This is our new tractor, which I accidentally paid $5,100 extra for. There we go. Ugh, she's mean, man. She's mean. Uh, also, I did not get the CVX transmission. Uh-oh. Uh, can I? Can I go back and get that? Oh, no. It's going to charge me another. Ooh. I don't want to pay that much for it though. All right, whatever. Uh, I guess we're sticking with the, uh, yeah, the multi-gear transmission on here. All right, so Field on Contract 91 is, n or 90, <laughs> Field on Contract 1 is 91% done. Uh, this, although I'm gonna crash it, is driving epically. Uh, this is, yeah, this is all right with me. I can't remember if this is a Caserius mining mod or maybe a Carl Farming mod, um, but I do know that it's just an awesome tractor. And I'm kind of happy that we finally have something new. And we have completed. Let's go ahead and take that money and we can go ahead and get this bad boy folded up. And Fireworker, there we go. He was he was doing his thing, let me tell you what. All right, so now we're over $114,000, which is good. Um, I'm taking a look at some more of these contracts here, which is a great way to make extra cash. Uh, we got filled 11 on here, filled 23, and filled 31. So 11? 23, 31. Well, the 11 is right here. That's not gonna be fun. 31 ain't that bad. And 23 really ain't that bad either. Where am I? Okay, hey, at least I'm not in my own field yet, so that's good. So we could probably take on a few of those just by well, hiring a worker and letting him do his thing. So 23, 31, we've got uh, sunflowers there and corn, which one pays the most? 31, it's also the closest, so I yeah, just don't know if it's gonna be good enough for us. Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> we're gonna do one of them. I took the one at the very top of the map, so figured that might make things a little bit easier. Also, getting out of here is not gonna be easy. It's gonna be fun, just not easy. Also, why is this tractor still clean? You guys see this? See this right here? Look at this. Look, mm-mm, mm-mm. There we go, that's what's up. All right, so we're full of corn, which is great, but I don't know what we need to plant. Looks like we're planting corn, so that's even better. And fill 31, top right hand corner of the map. Let's do it. Funny thing is I did buy this planter with the expectation that we would never be able to pull anything larger, at least for a few years. Boy, was I wrong. So this field is definitely much larger than I thought it was gonna be, but you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Bro. Get back yourself up. Ah, uh, here we go. So smaller planter. I think this is going to be fine though. I mean, the, the planter might be a little bit smaller, but whatever. doesn't matter. Not really anyway. There we go. Turn it on. It is direct drill, which makes everything that we do nice. 
and because I filled the power up with this tractor, um, it just kind of goes LOL. We could definitely use the largest case planter that we've got with this. I'm not sure if I would go all the way up to the 24 row, but I think the 16 row may not be a bad idea. We got the 12 here, but I think the 16 may be the way to go. Who knows? So while we wait on Mr. Speedy right here to get his job done, which I think he's going to be fine. I did run uh, three headlands at the top uh, in the bottom of this field, so hopefully he's good. Uh, I also checked out the planter, and it's going to cost just about an extra $100,000 after selling this planter to get the other one. So I think right now uh, it's more so a waste of time and money than anything. So we're not going to worry about that. But what I do want to double check on is our cows. I haven't checked on these guys in a few days. So let's pop in and we'll just eh, take a look and see. So we got 180,000 of the 200,000 liters of straw that I put in there. And we've got 228,000 liters of the 300,000 liters of TMR that I put in there. So that's not too bad. We've also got 26,000 liters of milk, 51,000 liters of slurry, and we have a total of 37,000 liters of manure. So that is all well and good. Now with this map, I'm not actually sure if there's a BGA on it or not. Uh, I haven't looked. So let's check this out. Uh, North Valley Bells and Multi-Free Buying Stations. Uh, well, <laughs> I know what that is. Uh, I don't actually know if we have a BGA. And if we do, maybe on an area that I have to buy. Easiest way to find out is to fly around, I guess, isn't it? So what I'm seeing here is no BGA, unless it's up here where I haven't checked, but I doubt. Um, not uncommon, I would say, I guess, here in the United States. Uh, you don't see many biogas plants around and active, so uh, it makes sense that there wouldn't be any around here. So, uh, do we build one, maybe? I mean, we've got... A bit of land here, it's not a ton, but we do have some area right here that we could just bloop, plop one down. Methinks it might be a little bit too big. Yeah. There is the smallest version here, but uh, still we don't have enough money, nor do we have the space. So, uh, I think right now, probably no biogas plant. What's funny is we have plenty of places to buy it here. Slurry, manure, Digestate, we would have somewhere to buy digestate, but nowhere to sell it, which is kind of backwards here. These guys are selling and these guys are buying versus, yeah, you know what I mean. So for now, um, the slurry and manure stays right where it is. Now, what about milk though? As you can see, we've got a couple places buying right here, right now. And remember also we have a mod installed that kind of levels out the prices. So no matter what day you're selling, you're good. You don't have to wait an entire year to get what you want. So it's looking like North Valley Farmer Storage is buying milk right now for the best. And that is right here. Okay, um, how are we gonna get the milk out of here though? Now this is interesting. So from 82 Studio, we've got his AB tankers right here. Um, so we could get like this. And if we go into the Unreal capacity, it goes up to 50,000 liters. We've even got an attachment that goes on the 3,500 which I think is pretty epic. The thing is, I don't really know what to pull this with. Got it, right here. This is gonna be it. Let's go and, whoa, hang on, options, 78, oh, <laughs> the, uh, the Unreal Capacity brings us up to uh, $21,000, which is more, more, well, it's just more, isn't it? Sure is. Well, this guy's almost done, so that's nice, and around here. Ooh, I wonder if we could pull it with this. Not likely though. All right, well, uh, this works. We're not going very fast because this Kubota won't go very fast, but you can't tell me this ain't working right now. He's back again. I don't know why that's there. That's hilarious though. All right, so if I remember correctly, milk is, yeah, right here. And this is also not gonna be very easy to get a hold of it, but I think this should be good. I need to turn on all my goodies because I have no idea what is what. Oh, okay. All I do is click the uh, load up button. That was easy. How's it gonna handle, but uh, none of that was English. How's it gonna handle the, <laughs> the hill right here? Not terrible, man, it's, I mean, it's working. It's pulling it up the hill just fine on 14, 15 miles an hour. That's not bad, dude. That ain't bad at all. Contract was completed. And I don't remember when I hit the button, uh, but uh, yeah, there it is. I think I've, I've kind of forgot to hit the recording button a lot. I'm excited to go back and, <laughs> and, and do the edit this video to see exactly what I've screwed up. But between now and then, let's see what we get here. 
I know we're getting over two thousand dollars for the milk so that's nice um is there a button i don't know about yeah so looking at this just like the previous episode doesn't look like the hitbox is high enough which uh is definitely making this fun i have an idea i'm gonna take this because i just got finished with the contract so i've got an extra tractor so i'll go ahead and drop that off right there as one would do very quickly like and pull it in front of people oh so you'll stop for that tractor but you won't stop for the uh, collect oh and she's gone well okay um i'm gonna hook up to this real quick and see if i can get the trigger um aha uh -huh. well this is fun this is a good time well i didn't want to have to do this but i may have to pick another trailer if the boxes uh, are not hitting in the correct spot. So here's, here's what I'm gonna try and do now. I'm gonna try and take this over, maybe dump it from one trailer to another. I don't even know if I can do that. Hey, totally can. Nice. And then we're gonna take this and back it up to the new trailer, which might have a better hitbox, and then sell the other trailer. And if one works, but the other one doesn't, well, then I'll know what I need to do. All right, is this gonna work? Maybe, maybe not, probably not probably not gonna work there's no way this works hey it worked cool which means we've made money awesome i really did not want to have to use this trailer again i feel like all i've done is use this trailer on every series it works so i guess there's that uh sixty two thousand dollars that's cool i don't know how much i paid for this but i know i'm gonna lose money on it so whatever uh yeah eighteen thousand versus i think 21 cool i gave myself four grand for going through all that i figured you know what i'm it's worth it i'm worth it i'm i needed it i needed it so that's it for day number five what did i learn uh i learned that i should probably just use what i've been using this whole time because well it works every time